I learned a bunch of years ago that every little town or every big town will have one, two, or three of those great little restaurants. You know, they may not know where it is, may not have flashing signs and everything else, but the people who live there, they know how good the food is. The food is just outstanding or unusual. Anyway, that's Zarzar's restaurant, and they're now selling, setting a world record, not a world record, setting and celebrating 95 years. Take a look at this. If a restaurant has been in business for 95 years, they must be doing something right. We took a trip down to the one, the only Zarzars, to find out the secret of their longevity. Ninety-five years. Yeah. This place is celebrating. Isn't that something? Ninety-five. Did you ever think, even ten years ago, that it would? No, no because when Aunt Rose passed away, she left the restaurant to Mom, and of course, Mom, she, she loved to cook and always knew how to cook, but she didn't know anything about running a restaurant. But she taught herself, you know, and she made we, you know, as you do when you get into something that actually gets, you know, here this is it, and you need to run this and keep this in the family and, yeah. and make it work. And then she taught herself. We made a lot of mistakes, and from time to time, when I would either be on or off of a tour in my musical career, I would come here and work for her at the restaurant, and uh, and it was fun. It was fun to watch the change in the crowd as it, you know, as the years rolled on. Well, how do you pronounce it? Because most of us say Zarzur. Zar. That's right, Zarzur. Yeah, Zur. Zarzur. Yeah. But most people say Zarzar. Yeah, because it's easier. It's I guess, easier. It's a, yeah. That's right. We know that uh, uh, Reggie White used to come in here quite yep. regularly. Yep. Uh, you got uh, Samuel L. Samuel L. Jackson's yeah, come in the and, restaurant and, and, before. And, and others. Who are some of the others? Well, of course, there? I brought the group Alabama in here with me a lot. Uh, yeah. Randy, like, Randy still loves to eat here. And uh, whenever the crew would be pulling through town, going back to Fort Payne, we'd stop grab a hamburger or something, pull the bus out front, it caused a little chaos. And, and there's all kinds of people still today come in in the sense of bikers, lawyers, mm -hmm. doctors, mm -hmm. whatever they can all be seen in. Yeah, they love it. Yeah. I think you get a good feeling when you come through that door. I, I just feel that way. But people love it. We got a, two guest logs up there that are signed from people from China all the way to Germany. I mean, it, isn't that interesting? Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> and Shannon, you got to sign the, the guest book. Uh, you, you'll not leave without signing the guest book. Wow. But the chili has always remained the same. And the burger, the, the hamburger has always been fresh, hand padded, you know, good yeah, beef, yeah. no frozen. We don't even have a can opener in here, so you ain't got to worry about that. It's all fresh, market fresh. That has remained the same. And Shannon, my daughter-in-law, is uh, running it now for me and doing a really good job. Yeah. Makes a mean hamburger. Well, People I'm, love her I'm hamburgers. I'm going to find out here in a few minutes. Yeah, they are good. And Shannon uh, is really, she's real good about promotion. She loves to self-promote the restaurant. And, and Mom does too, but I mean, Shannon's have really taken it to the next level as far as the hamburger and Hamburger America. We had a guy come through, and, and then the road food people came through yeah. from Gourmet Magazine, and that really put us on the national map. And believe it or not, they really watch those things. <laughs> they really do. Yeah, they will. And, um, and they'll get off and drive for they miles. They do, they'll drive for miles. They'll plan their trip all the way from, say, you know, Spokane, Washington to Miami, yeah. and they'll stop at all these little road food places that they saw either or heard about on the splendid table, but I really would prefer this, this not change at all. I would prefer to stay just the same because uh, Shannon makes it a point to know what you drink and what your name is, and she will remember. She's a lot better at that than I am. And she knows when people walk through that door, what they like, lemon, no lemon, it's that kind of place. We're very friendly and, and get to know everybody, call them by their first name. Uh, know all about their families. Uh, they walk through and we normally know what they want to eat and drink <laughs> without having, you know, to say what they yeah. want. It's just you get to know the people just like it's a member of your family. So I think that's why people like to come here. Oh, Shannon, look what you've done. I think it's quite beautiful. Let me get you some napkins. You're going to need them. Now, there is no better hamburger anywhere. You can have it made by, I don't know who it would be, but it's not near as good as this one right here. It's cooked with love. 
baby put love in this. <laughs> I'll fight you. I'll pull our wrestle. I'm telling you. Mm. <laughs> wow, there's no other place like it. Zarzar is right off of uh, West Main Street, uh, downtown Chattanooga there. And, you, and it's been there like 95 years. And I would like to see him do another 95 years. There's just so much togetherness there. You know, it's kind of small. and It's crowded. Everybody gets together. But uh, there are doctors, lawyers psychiatrists, you name it, they all come at one time or another. And if you've got some people coming in town to visit, uh, take them down. You will, uh, you will enjoy it. They're there every day until about 2 o'clock. Okay?